bad. What a pretty little puppy, the big fisting Nicoya. And in days gone by, you wouldn't want to have one of those puppies on your tail. It could give you a serious headache. They were used in some uh, odd theatres, the Chinese Civil War against Taiwan, which is 1946-50. Of course, most famously in the Korean War. Flown, needless to say, by right. Built and designed as the RF-6B by René Fournier in France. I have flown one of the original ones. I also demonstrated these twice uh, at Farnborough in the 1980s. Lovely little aircraft. This one is GRP, uh, plastic basically composite. Two seats side by side. Constant speed prop, fixed undercarriage as you can see. And this is the aircraft, in fact, that uh, Prince Harry learned to fly on, or this type of aircraft. Being flown very slowly and very gracefully, not worried about uh, talking at the top there, that's uh, R-Q-U-E, as opposed to how one might um, in the Spitfire or indeed in something like the Hunter. After the vertical stall turn to the left, Nice tall turn, no rush there at all. So very graceful, basic flowing aerobatics. Fuel injected engine, so it keeps running upside down. Nice barrel roll, 160 horsepower. As I say, constant feed from the inverted fuel and oil systems. They did uh, have a few issues uh, with the aircraft in America, uh, where they lost several in uh, spinning accidents, uh, but uh, that probably was not uh, part, really, of the aircraft design. It got a very long wing, which is very typical for Rennie Fournier coming from a gliding background. Uh, I flew uh, several thousand hours on one of his original wonderful machines, the Fournier RF4, uh, doing a display to the music of the Pink Floyd, who I taught to fly many years ago. Those were happy days back in the early 80s, but th th that long wing design that you see is very typical from René Fournier. I'm going to make this walk up the beach to join you. We'll get the typhoon very shortly, just preparing. We heard he's in the vicinity. The Eurofighter will come through the crowd light for its display. Opening the second half of the air show this afternoon.